there! Did you know that Four Corners, Florida is the lightning capital of North America? It's had 1,229 lightning events per square mile. Did you also know that I'm currently there right now? <laughs> I came here to visit my Aunt Muriel at her vacation house, and I found out about the lightning after I got here. But it's okay. I've done plenty of research, and I know how to stay safe. Looks like I won't be going outside anytime soon, so this is a perfect time to start the introduction for my expository essay. I've got another fact for you. Did you know that you've already written a part of your introduction? <laughs> Let's uh, get into today's lesson to calm down and learn some more. Before we begin, do you have your PDF ready to take notes? Great. By the end of this lesson, you'll be able to describe the three parts of an effective introduction paragraph and craft an introduction paragraph of your own. Let's get into it. An introduction paragraph has three parts. The hook, some background knowledge, and the main idea sentence. When you start an expository essay, you begin with a hook. A hook is the first line or a few lines of your essay. Its job is to grab the reader's attention and make them want to keep reading, like hooking a fish and reeling it in. There are several types of hooks you can use. You could start with an exciting fact. For example, the lightning capital of North America is located in Four Corners, Florida, with 1,229 lightning events per square mile. You could start with an interesting question, such as, have you ever stood in awe of a spectacular lightning storm and wondered how it all works? You could start with an engaging quote from a reliable source. Something like, According to the National Severe Storms Laboratory, lightning is one of the oldest observed natural phenomena on Earth. Oh, those all sound exciting. I would definitely want to read more. I think I'll choose to start my essay with the exciting facts, although any of those would be a great choice. An effective hook is exciting to the reader, so if it sounds exciting to you, you're on the right track. Now that we have our reader's attention, we need to give them some background information. This is where you help your reader understand what you're going to talk about. You can include things like definitions of tricky words or a short history of your topic. You might want to explain some important words or ideas that relate to your main idea, but make sure that you don't give away everything you want to say just yet. This part should be quick and interesting so that your readers want to keep reading your essay. Remember, we're not simply announcing our plans. We don't want to say, in this essay, I will explain lightning, or I am going to be talking about lightning. Instead, for my lightning essay, I think I'll write something like, lightning is an electrostatic discharge from the sky that happens during storms, and there are multiple types of lightning. Scientists still study it to this day. These two sentences work as a background knowledge because it briefly describes what lightning is without going into too much detail. It acts as a bridge as I transition into the final part of the paragraph. And last but not least, we introduce our main idea. This is the last sentence of our introduction, and it's what we wrote in the main idea section of our outlines. This is the most important part. Your main idea is the central message. It's what you're going to tell your reader to expect in your essay. Each paragraph point is reflected in your main idea. Remember the main idea for my lightning essay? Lightning has specific causes and various types, and it requires safety measures. When you put all three parts together, your introduction should be three to five sentences. Here's my full intro. The lightning capital of North America is located in Four Corners, Florida, with 1,229 lightning events per square mile. Lightning is an electrostatic discharge from the sky that happens during storms, and there are multiple types of lightning. Scientists still study it to this day. Lightning has specific causes and various types, and it requires safety measures. So, there you have it. A hook to draw your reader in, 
background information to give them context, and a main idea to guide your essay. Isn't it amazing how much we've learned just in the introduction? We started our journey in the lightning capital of North America, full of fear and apprehension. With a few facts and a plan for our essay, we know how to craft an engaging introduction for our expository essay, and I'm not feeling as afraid anymore. A solid introduction isn't just about surviving a storm of information, it's about navigating through it with confidence and bringing your reader along for the ride. Just like how understanding lightning can help you stay safe during a storm, a strong introduction sets the course for your essay, ensuring you won't be lost in the rain. Keep this in mind as you continue on your writing journey. I think that I'm going to make the most out of this trip. Aunt Muriel said she's got a surprise in store to help me with my essay, so I'll see you next time. Keep drafting, rainy writers.